Welcome back to Bikes Online, my fellow cyclists. In today's video, we'll be diving back into the world of bike maintenance and optimization. We'll show you four crucial areas to focus on, ensuring that your bike is dialed in for peak performance. So grab your wrenches and let's get started. Our first talking point is brake rotor alignment. Misaligned brake rotors can lead to poor braking performance and unnecessary wear on your brake pads. Here's a simple method to ensure that they're perfectly aligned. Start by loosening the bolts that secure the brake caliper to the frame or fork. Then, squeeze the brake lever to engage the pads against the rotor. While keeping the brake lever squeezed, carefully tighten the bolts to secure the caliper in place. Finally, release the brake lever and spin the wheel to check for any rubbing. If you notice any rubbing, repeat the process until the rotor spins freely. If you just can't seem to squash the issue, you may have a warped rotor in which case you can explore truing or replacing the rotor depending on the severity. Next up, let's talk about hanger alignment or replacement. A misaligned derailleur hanger can cause poor shifting and chain skipping. Thankfully, it's relatively easy to address. After removing your derailleur, use a derailleur alignment tool and check the alignment of the hanger. This tool tests alignment relative to the rear wheel and reveals if things have gotten out of line. If it is indeed out, you can straighten it by nudging the alignment tool or seeking professional assistance if you're not comfortable doing it yourself. In some cases, a severely bent or broken hanger may require replacement. You can find your bike's compatible hanger on our website. A well-aligned hanger ensures smooth shifting and optimal drivetrain performance and longevity. Which brings us to our next point. Let's discuss how to ensure clean shifting, a vital aspect of a well-tuned bike. Here's what you can do to optimize your shifting. Start by indexing your gears. Make sure your high limit screw keeps your chain running square on your hardest gear and that your low limit screw keeps your chain running square on your easiest gear. With that out of the way, let's begin running through our gears, making sure the chain smoothly transitions from cog to cog. If you notice any hesitation or noise, use the barrel adjuster on the shifter or rear derailleur to fine tune the shifting. Adding tension will speed up downshifting into easier gears, while reducing tension will speed up the upshifting into harder gears. It's crucial to maintain proper cable tension for crisp and accurate gear changes. Additionally, regularly cleaning and lubricating your drivetrain will improve shifting performance and extend the drivetrain's lifespan dramatically. Last but not least, let's focus on changing or adjusting your contact points, handlebars, grips, saddle, and pedals. These elements greatly impact comfort and control on the bike. When it comes to handlebars, find the width and shape that suits your riding style. Ergonomic grips or bar tape can really enhance comfort and reduce hand and forearm fatigue. As for the saddle, experiment with different models until you find the one that provides the right support and comfort for your body. Also, consider the saddle's position. Moving your saddle fore and aft as well as adjusting the angle can make a world of difference. And don't forget about those pedals. Whether you prefer flat pedals or clipless systems, make sure they're the proper shape and setup to provide optimal power transfer and foot stability. And there you have it, friends. Four essential tips to get your bike dialed in. Remember, regular maintenance and adjustments are key to keeping your bike in tip-top shape. By performing tasks like aligning brake rotors, checking your hanger, ensuring clean shifting, and fine-tuning your contact points, you'll experience a smoother, more enjoyable ride. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching here at Bikes Online, and we will see you around.